This is a story worth telling. A story worth remembering. A story worth writing down. Pardon the interruption, but this is kind of an introduction to my story, which was born in corruption, but leading towards something. Right from a young age, I started writing poetry. And it was always something that I always felt was like outside of me. I was raised in Cleveland City, and that's when this world, it came and hit me with everything it could give me. Like I would write stuff where it'd be like, I'd wake up the next day and say, man, like who wrote that? Here I was as this superstar who was rich by the worldly bar, but what I lacked inside my heart left me poorer than all by far. You know, it was very dark, very Edgar Allan Poe-ish, because when I was uh, almost losing my mind, it was like watching a movie of a guy living a life that, you know, I never imagined. Yeah. Every day we'll write a page, and every year we'll write a chapter. The things we say and the choices we make will be the story that is captured. This is a story of Jeff Baziani. It's a story he wouldn't have ever believed if he hadn't lived it himself. CNN once called Slavic Village in Cleveland, Ohio, the worst neighborhood in America. If that's true, Jeff Baziani probably helped make it so. It's a neighborhood where a lot of people sell drugs because it's, they feel like kind of there's nothing else I could do. I, I used to say it, I used to say, I sell drugs because I'm smart, <laughs> you know? <laughs> that was my uh, spiel. By the time I was 19, it had spread throughout the Midwest United States. It was in you know, Michigan, West Virginia, Pennsylvania. And uh, before I really even knew what had happened, police had closed in on my operation. They nailed me hard, and I was in prison, facing up to seven years in prison. Stuck behind bars, digging inside a box of old donated paperback books, Jeff found this. I took this Bible out and just took it back to my bunk. And then every night, I would just start to read. And I came to John 15, and Jesus you know, hit the home run. He, for me, at least, he said, you know, I'm the vine in this world. You're all branches. Uh, apart from me, you can't do anything, but if you plug into me, I'll bear fruit in your life, fruit that lasts. And it was probably the realest thing I had ever heard anyone say. And I said, God, you know, I don't really have much to offer at this point, but uh, give me that abundant life that you're talking about. Man. That led to this. After Jeff got out of jail, the owner of a neighborhood restaurant came to him with a proposition. He says, you know, what would you do if I gave you 100 pounds of chicken a week? And so I just thought to myself, I know every addict that's gonna buy drugs instead of food. I know every alley, every house. I would go hit my old neighborhood and just start handing out chicken. So Jeff Baziani, the ex-drug kingpin of Slavic Village, started going door to door, handing out free food. I had spent a decade delivering polluted water to the people in my community. And God had opened a door for me to come back with living water and say, look, Jeff. one drink and it's over. Like everything that ails your home. Everything that ails our community. It's in my pocket. I mean, I have it. How's it going, man? He went from house to house almost right. every day for six right, months. There was an obvious question right on the table, like, dude, what happened? <laughs> you know what I mean? And most everyone had the same reaction. 48 people accepted Christ. These were not the church crowd whatsoever. And so now they're looking to me as like, okay, what's our, what's our next steps forward? The next step forward was this. In 2012, Jeff Baziani started Forward Church. I run around like this foolish and lame world. I had no history in church or how to do church. Really all I had was this instruction manual that I found in a prison cell. Seek the kingdom of God above all else. And it was like, you know what, I don't really know how to do this, but I know that this word transformed my life. And so now, in what used to be called the worst neighborhood in America, Almost 200 people have given their lives to Jesus. You don't have to convince people in our community that they're needy. It's just a matter of convincing them what they truly do need. And so, yeah, I, I, over the past two years, I've just watched God really uh, do some awesome things. But. 
This is a story worth telling, a story worth remembering, a story worth writing down. It's clear that your glare might be the only thing that can repair this despair. When I came to Christ, that was like, uh, this is why I have this, you know, passion to write poetry. And so uh, now, when he hits me with something, bro, I know that it's from him. Because every day we'll write a page, and every year we'll write a chapter. But everything that this world can offer us cannot compare to your happily ever after. This is a story by Jeff Baziani, a story about one of the best neighborhoods in America, a story people here never would have believed if they hadn't seen it for themselves.